What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Robert. And uh, today, I want to talk about the expediting world at Panther Premium Logistics. The ups and the downs of the company. I've had numerous of folks out in the road, out here in the streets, everywhere, asking me, what is it like to be a uh, expediter? And what are the benefits? And what's the pay? So here I am to talk to you guys a little bit about it. First of all, before I even start, I want to say that I am not a recruiter, nor am I making this video to, under no circumstances, intend to anybody to recruit or whatever. Um, once again, I'm not a recruiter, nor am I making this video with any intentions of recruiting anybody. I don't have authority for that and never will. Anyways, so here goes. Typical day at it as a uh, Panther uh, driver cargo van driver expediter or whatever you guys want to call it starts off like this sometimes you will sit around like i'm doing now we will sit at a travel pot stop a pilot or truck stop or wherever they allow you to be at and you pretty much wait for a call uh sometimes dispatch might call you right away for a load you might be sitting here for a day or two it all depends on what position in the board you're in we have a board position and uh, sometimes they go by the board position and if they have a person that's first out, they make that a priority. Uh, as far as the pay goes, it really all depends. If you're working with a fleet owner, uh, every fleet owner pays different. Some of them pay you 40, 60, others pay you 55% and 100%. Um, it varies, it varies pay wise. Now, if you become your own fleet owner, then it's a different story. Excuse me, the phone was ringing. If you become a uh, fleet owner, meaning you become your own boss, which is what I highly recommend anybody to do if they want to start off as an expediter in this company, then you're looking at a whole different ball game. You're, I've heard some drivers say they make average around fifteen to twenty five hundred a week. It depends on. Depends how the week goes, how the loads are, and all that good stuff. Now, that's cargo van. As far as driving straight trucks, or box trucks as most people want to call it, that is a whole different ballgame. With Panther, you can make it with a, as a straight truck driver. Most fleet owners would prefer you to be teams. But if you decide to go solo, even better. Again... The pay is based on your fleet owners, if you're working for a fleet owner. If not, then if you work for yourself with Panther, then you're more likely to bring about fifteen to $2,500 every week. That's depends. That's if and ends. Okay. Now, with a fleet owner, uh, it varies. It varies. Uh, some fleet owners go halfway with you. Other fleet owners go full speed with you. So... Um, with this said, uh, they give you a nice van, at least my van is. You sleep in the van, you stay in the van, you pretty much live in the van while you're out here in the road. They say it's three to four, it says uh, three weeks on the road and four days at home. Don't believe it. Sometimes it could be more, it could be less. Pretty much to be an expediter and to get into this type of business, you got to be prepared to be away from home for a long time. Okay. Uh, Nothing personal, but if you're married and you have kids or you're committed, this job is not for you. Because some people can survive it, but other people lose their relationship and stuff with this job. It is money out there to be made. Uh, this is no lie. This is no bullshit. I've been doing this about almost four months right now. I have no complaints. Um, there is money to be made out there. You just got to be willing to make the money and make the sacrifice to be out there in the road. You know what I'm saying? Um, so as far as Panther goes, uh, Panther Premium Logistics, dispatches have their, they have their ups and downs. You know, like every company does. We have the ups and the downs. Uh, you have great dispatch people. They make sure you get the best loads off wherever you can get. Um, Fleet owners, all depends on fleet owners that you go with, you know. As far as my fleet owner goes, I think he's the greatest fleet owner I've had so far. I mean, 
treats us all right, takes care of us. Um, but if you don't mind, I'm kind of going to show you a little, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of how I live in my van, of course. Uh, we're going to see how, I'm going to show you how expeditors live and perhaps give you guys some advices. Okay. Back here, as you see, is my curtain. This is my curtain right there. And behind that curtain, I have a cot where I have a uh, mattress laid on it and I have covers. Simple way of living. Oh, and by the way, uh, every load offer you get, you get a certain percent up front. That means that you're not gonna you're not gonna be hungry out here. You're not gonna be out of gas out here. The company will give you your gas. They'll feed you. They'll take care of you. It's how you manage your money. It's what matters, fellas. It's all out here in this road. The most important key of all is saving every penny you can. If you if you don't have to spend the money, you don't spend it. Again, coming out here in the road, it's not going to make you rich. Okay? It will not make you rich. Some people say, oh, we make thousands and millions. No, we don't. We do not make a lot of money out here. We make fair enough money to get by. But if you guys have, if you, if you have bills and you got things you need to take care of, make sure you take care of them before you come on the road. And uh, as far as food goes, stay away from truck stops, stay away from high price foods. Uh, Dollar Generals, Dollar Trees, Family Dollars. Again, I'm not promoting none of these stores, but I'm just saying, those are your best friends. Dollar stores are your best friends. Walmarts are also your best friends. As far as canned goods, cooler, sandwiches, stuff like that, okay? Those are going to be your best friends forever. I can't show you guys what I have in this van right now because I'm sitting in this kind of a little tight right now, little situation right now. There's nothing going on. But anyways, I will go around the truck and show you guys momentarily uh, how how I sleep and how I, I am, you know, comfortable, how I become comfortable. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do that right now as we're on this speaker. So, as we see, this is our band. Can't show you the logo that much. I can't show you the logo because it's got some details that, you know. That's our van right there, pretty much. Well, at least those are the bands that they give us, splinter bands. Some of us get splinter bands. Depends who your fleet owner is. Inside here, got my curtain. Behind my curtain, you guys can see the bed. Just a simple cot, simple pillow for me. You know, that works out beautifully. Uh, when if you guys decide if any one of you guys watching this video decide to go on the business you guys can set up your own bed your own way but this is how I do it and it's beautiful uh, of course we're at the pilot talk stop here this is our this is our best friends right here now as far as showering living your life all right so back to what I was saying as far as uh coming out here stay away from hotels if you can avoid staying away from hotels stay away from them sleep in your van you save a lot more money sleeping in your van than you will in a hotel some people like being in hotels because they're skeptical about living in their vans but hey it's part of the world you know what I mean so uh, what I'm really trying to say is fellas fellow future future truck drivers this future expeditors whether you're working for panther whether you're working for whoever you're working for my word of advice is save your monies save them save your money don't get discouraged if you don't get a load one day don't get discouraged there's going to be times where you're going to get good loads it's going to be good weeks it's going to be bad weeks like every job okay but uh as far as an expediter goes, expediting work goes, me personally, excuse me, I gotta smoke me my cigarette. Personally, it's a great job. Number one, you're independent. Number two, you have no bosses to tell you what to do or where to go or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? So, you got great people. And you meet a lot of interesting people out here. You run into fellow truck drivers, fellow expediters, and you learn a lot about people's lives out here. 
You know what I'm saying? So, again, the best advice I can give you guys, and I cannot stress this enough, save your money when you come out here. Save your money. You will, and I repeat, you will not get rich living on the road. Even as, even as an owner operator, you will not be rich coming out here on the road. You will live great, you'll live fancy, you'll live wealthy, but you won't be wealthy like millionaire or nothing like that. It's a fun job to work for. And uh, also too, another thing I wanna mention is, um, for those of you guys that like to be team drivers, this is the perfect company to start off with. Because this company will treat you right as far as the team driver goes. You get a lot of loads, you get a lot of runs, the whole nine yards. Now also for those that like to be team drivers, for those that like to be solo, like me, beautiful. It's gorgeous, it's fantastic. So, if you guys have any questions or anything, uh, please feel free to comment underneath this, I'm gonna leave my comment and uh, also to comment on my video. This is my first time ever going on YouTube recording a video like this. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope this video has been informative, in, informative to you guys. And uh, like I said, if y'all have any questions or any issues that I can answer, I'll be more than glad to answer it. Um, just go ahead and shoot me a comment underneath there and uh, make sure you guys give me your thumbs up. For now on, you guys have a great day. And those of you that are looking into the trucking business, good luck.